Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Out for a nice overnighter tonight on the Backbone Trail in the Gustache Hills Wilderness area. And I brought out my new chair. I've used it quite a bit, but this is the first time I pack it out on the trail. It's nice to have a sit pad. It's nice to have a place to sit after a long day of hiking. But it is luxury to have a chair on the trail. Now a lot of times that luxury comes at a cost and that cost is weight. But does your comfortable chair have to weigh a lot? No, it doesn't. Stay tuned and we're going to take a look at the Helinox Zero Chair. Thanks for watching, guys. So we're looking at the Helinox Zero Chair. This thing is pretty tiny and doesn't hardly weigh anything. Packed up like this, it's basically 14 inches long and four by four, so kind of like a four inch circumference and 14 inches long. It weighs one pound, two ounces, so it doesn't weigh hardly anything. Super lightweight. That said, despite its lightweight, it has a capacity of 265 pounds, which is pretty hefty. Chair comes in this nice case. Pull it out, okay, really simple. We'll put it together for you guys. It's got two basic parts. It's got the chair material itself, and it's got this frame. Let me show you guys how easy it puts together. So you're basically just gonna kind of play pickup sticks here, put all this together. That's your frame right there. This is your chair. It's got these little loops on the back that basically just loop into these. It does tell you on this back here, this side down, which is nice because it's always hard to remember which side goes down. That side down. So again, you just, basically you can see I'm just looping these on. I mean, it doesn't get any easier, guys. Pop that in there. Pop that in there. And you've got yourself a seat. Give you a nice look at this bad boy from all around. Again, this is the Helinox Zero Chair. You can see how it just pops right in there. Really simple, very sturdy, very well made. This is not coming off, guys, okay? You can see I've got a pretty, pretty nice view today for lunch here on the trail. Ah, I tell you, it's not rocket science doing a review of a chair. It's either comfortable or it's not. Let me tell you, this one's comfortable. It is nice. Like I said, you can have a, uh, a sit pad. Uh, they don't weigh very much at all. And it's a personal decision as to whether or not you want to bring a chair or not. I never brought one before because the ones that I had were very heavy and I didn't want to carry that. So when I got this chair for Christmas, strong word from my wife there, uh, I don't think I'm ever going without it. It is so nice to sit down and enjoy a nice seat instead of having to sit on the ground. It is low sitting, you can see. One of the negatives is if you have a you know moist ground, they're just little sticks basically, so they will settle into the ground very easily. But man, you can relax in this thing and just chill out. Is it necessary? No, it's not necessary at all. It's a luxury without question. But who doesn't want to sit in luxury out in the woods? <sighs> Yeah. Now, one issue with the chair is that it's not cheap. It's 120 bucks, so 120, 130 bucks. So definitely not cheap. Is it worth it? Eh. As all things, it's a personal decision. If you're passionate about getting outside and backpacking and enjoying yourself out in the woods, and you want some comfort and some luxury, yeah, it's worth it without question. Quality is excellent. Uh, it's so easy to pack around. It's small, it's compact, yet it's very effective in what you need. Can't imagine going back out into the woods without it. It is worth a pound in my book any day of the week. So yeah guys, simple easy review of the Helinox Zero Chair. I'll leave a link down below if you want to grab one yourself. Uh, it is an affiliate link, so anything you buy through the affiliate link, not just this chair, but anything else, really helps the channel out. Brings it in a small amount of income that helps me get more gear to bring to you guys. About to eat lunch on the first day of my overnighter here on the Backbone Trail. And I decided to shoot a little video of this uh, chair for you guys because I think it's such a nice item. A lot of people asked for it. In a recent poll on my community tab, it was number two in the request. So that's great. Number one was a fishing kit. I'm also going to be using the fishing kit today, but I'm not going to be filming it a uh, review because I need to use that a little bit more uh, before I do a review. I've used this chair now three or four times with scouts and stuff like that. It's a great chair. If you like the video, guys, please make sure you give it a thumbs up down below. And if you'd like the channel, give us a subscription. really helps keep the channel growing. Uh, share on social media if you want. It's really exciting. 
channel's been growing quite a bit. As always, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. I'm going to eat a little lunch here and get back on the trail. Stay tuned for more videos, guys.